So I just took the cover off this. Sometimes there's a PCB board in there and sometimes there's this setup. So you've got your, I forget, like, your ignition switch which is obviously going to turn the power off. I think that's your horn button. There's your horn. Then you've got your speed control, your tortoise to your hair. That's a potentiometer that is. And then this is your main toggle forwards and backwards switch and that's a potentiometer as well there's three wires on it but you can't get to them wires so I'll just show you on the speed one how to test it so you should have three poles three connections one's going to be the wiper and the other two is going to be the start and the end resistances. So that's showing 24 kilograms both ways hopefully. Nope, so it's going from 0 to 25. So that one's the winder one. And that one's 24. So that's your main ones and that's your wiper one. So it's going from 0 to 24 while turning it. So I know that's working. So that's how you test a potentiometer. Obviously you do the same for this. There's a little PCB board there for the uh, gauges, the battery gauge, which is probably replaceable, easy just to replace it than repair it. And obviously you've got the horn switch, the ignition switch, which is just two wires, and the horn itself. And that is it. Speed control, forwards and backwards. Just potentiometers and easy to test.